21 do's and don'ts for highly sensitive people if you're a highly sensitive person or an empath and you often feel overwhelmed bombarded by others energies sounds noises smells whatever it may be these 21 things will highly highly improve the quality of your life so let's jump in do set boundaries this can be difficult at first but it gets easier with time and it's something that highly sensitive people need more than anything do create a sanctuary in your home this could even be the space of a closet but somewhere that you can go at any time of any day that just brings you peace and tranquility don't take on the stressors of others sometimes when we are highly sensitive people we can take on the energies of other people around us we want to make sure that the energy that we are harvesting is our own that we are not taking on the energies of other people do keep your home tidy when we live in a cluttered and chaotic home it clutters our minds the more tidy our home is the more peaceful and relaxed we can feel do dress comfortably if something is making you feel restricted or uncomfortable or brushing up against your skin that is just going to cause extreme irritation over time and it's something that a lot of times highly sensitive people can't ignore so make sure you are dressing comfortably don't abandon your hobbies especially the creative or fun or uplifting ones that you have whether it's something artistic or musical or whatever it may be don't abandon that thing that can bring you joy and peace do have a nighttime and morning routine. It doesn't matter if it's just five minutes or if you like to have a bunch of different things that you do that take up to 30 minutes or even an hour before bed or after waking up. This can create structure, routine, and just an overall feeling of comfort. Do work on regulating your nervous system consistently through breathing exercises, meditation, yoga, whatever feels right for you. When our nervous system is out of whack, everything around us can be that much more detrimental to our own peace. Don't watch a ton of intense or violent TV that can make you feel a little on edge. Of course, if you like that kind of stuff, definitely incorporate it into your life, but just make sure you limit it, whether it's TV, movies, news, whatever. Do take at least one day per week and if you have to go every other week, that's okay, where you don't have anything on your calendar. I mean, nothing to do, where you can just fill that day with whatever you feel like doing, whatever feels good, whatever you are feeling lack in. Do cuddle up with your pet if you have one. This can actually also help when you're seeing back to the harmonizing and relaxing your nervous system. Don't create insane to-do lists. I've been known to do this, and what I have found to be the best cure for that is taking the top three things that you need to do every day and just making sure you get those done and everything else that's on your to-do list that can be something extra that you can get done but don't create these overwhelming extensive long lists each day do plan mini relaxing retreats this can even be something done within your home there are times where i've created a sanctuary in the in the space behind us where we do spa days we light the candles get the station set up eye masks foot massagers whatever you have bubble baths it doesn't matter okay you can go somewhere and do this of course at a spa massage parlor whatever but you can also create one of these little spa retreats in your home do eat lots of high vibe foods like fruits vegetables nuts seeds and what this will do is just optimally energize your body and make you feel as best as you possibly can don't neglect your sleep know how much sleep you need to be optimal and to feel your best and try to hit that number as often as possible this is also something that can fluctuate and change over time personally i used to only need about four or five hours of sleep now a minimum of eight but really like nine hours of sleep is best for me do cut out alcohol as often as possible if not completely there are obviously a million things that alcohol does that can really be harmful for the body but on top of that it really tends to make already highly sensitive people more anxious especially the next day do invest in a salt lamp this increases oxygen flow to the brain has a nice beautiful glow to it don't take part in conversations that make you feel anxious or overwhelmed simply move on or leave the conversation this can come Kind of go back to the aspect of setting boundaries do drink tea there is something so warm and comforting and calming about it 
you'll notice that anytime you drink tea, you automatically just feel a little more comfortable and a little more peaceful. Do put on instrumental or meditation music in the background whenever possible. This does absolute wonders for our nervous system. While this list of 21 things can truly help literally anyone, it's really important, especially for highly sensitive people and empaths to stick to as many of these as possible. And I'm sure there's a million more things as well. If you're still not sure if you are a highly sensitive person or an empath, but you have the feeling that you might be, I'll leave this video right here so you can check that out for the five signs that you might be an empath. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe so we can hang out again next week. I love you guys so much and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself. Thank you.